So balanced view is, um, it's, um, uh, you could call it an educational program that teaches direct perception in the nature of mind, um, which could also be stated as direct perception of the nature of reality. And the starting point is for us to recognize what is the fundamental nature of mind, of, of the intelligence that uh, is naturally present right here. And if you just stop thinking for a moment, just relax. Notice that there's an alertness. When you stop thinking just for an instant, what, what remains? There's an intelligence that's naturally present. Whatever intelligence you can identify right now, that is open intelligence. And the balance view training is often um, referred to as an algorithm because it provides this structure that empowers us to recognize this wide open and clear expanse of intelligence in everyday life. And that structure or that algorithm is the four mainstays. And the first of those um, techniques, you could say, is the practice of short moments. And the practice of short moments is simply throughout your day, whatever you're doing, whatever you're thinking, whoever you're with, um, whatever you're feeling, just to take short moments of allowing everything to be exactly as it is, and again to recognize this naturally present sky-like nature of mind. And to go throughout your day and to test out what difference it makes to recognize this fundamental nature in your everyday experience. And that for me was um, kind of intriguing and interesting because that was something that I could test for myself. Um, and I was open enough when I came here to actually just test it out and see what happened. And each time that I just relaxed this incessant need to think about everything, the habit that I'd learned to analyze everything, to try and work everything out, and, and just relax and allow myself to be exactly as I was. And I tested that out in all kinds of circumstances. Um, as you go throughout your day, everything arises, you know, you can feel happy, you can feel sad, you can feel um, comfortable with people, you can feel socially awkward, you can feel lonely, you can feel hot, you can feel cold, you can feel all kinds of things. You can hear the birds singing around us. And so what I did was to just, just test that instruction out, first of all, of just taking a short moment and, and checking in with this openness of intelligence. And it was amazing for me to discover that when I did that, as soon as I recognized this openness, and, and you can test it again right now, just, just relax and allow everything to be as it is, and recognize that there is an intelligence naturally present, not, not mysterious or, or far away, but what's hearing everything that you're hearing, what's looking through your eyes, what knows that you are you, without needing to describe that, just relaxing and noticing it. And every time I did that, there was, first of all, a sense of relief, a sense of relaxation. But mm, what really intrigued me was that there was a sense of clarity. There was a clear seeing. There was um, a, a recognition that this openness actually saw everything as it was and that I didn't need all of these complicated descriptions and descriptive frameworks that I'd learned to try and make sense of everything, to try and navigate my way through life. But this was so new for me, it was so radical, it was so different, because my whole life I'd spent um, trying to understand intellectually what was going on, trying to manage my um, experience, trying to basically accumulate positive or good experience and to eradicate or minimize the negative experiences and working really hard at doing that. And to be introduced to something that um, was so simple and so easy, it, it, it was challenging um, because it was completely new. 
but like I said, I was open enough to test it out. And because of the results that I saw, I continued to test out this practice of short moments, re repeating the short moments. Because the ease that I felt, the openness I, that I felt, the, the clarity of just seeing everything as it was, this, this bright shining display that it, it was amazing. So I had lots of ideas about everything, you know, and I, I kind of thought that, um, yeah, I was pretty smart in some areas and knew quite a lot of things. And to discover that everything that I thought I knew was basically secondhand knowledge. It was things that I'd learned from other people and the things that other people had told me about the way that things were, about who I was, about what reality was, about how the world functioned and about how I was supposed to deal with that and to cope with it because it was really just a question of coping with everything that was going on and to discover that actually when I relied on the openness of, of intelligence that was naturally present there was this capacity to see and to see clearly but actually to see clearly how I could be of benefit and that benefit was seen for myself so the first benefit that I saw was that I could just relax you know, I, I could relax and in that relaxation um, I became more comfortable with whatever I was feeling or thinking. I became smarter. Everything that I was thinking, the confused thinking, the trying to compare everything with what I thought I knew, the, um, the focus on all the judgments and criticisms and blames, I, I took short moments with all of those too and I saw that these two were nothing other than this expanse of complete openness and that I could allow those to be as they were too. So that benefit was felt first of all towards myself. I stopped giving myself such a hard time about what I think and, and what I feel and what I say and what I don't say and just about everything basically. I, I could relax that learned habit too. Um, and so everything began to relax and open out and, and that intrigued me and I began to have increasing insight into the nature of reality. I began to see in my own experience that everything that I did experience, it, it, there were these beautiful metaphors that I heard like, like the rainbow appearing in, in space. Now everything that I think, everything that I feel, everything that I experience, it's like a rainbow appearing in the sky. It's very vivid and you can look in your own experience right now and see how, if, if that's how it is. You know, everything is so bright and vivid and so naturally present. You know, everything we're feeling and sensing and experiencing right now. And yet, like a rainbow, it's fleeting. So everything appears spontaneously. You know, a sound from over there, uh, a gurgling in the stomach, uh, uh, a thought about something that happened 20 years ago or it appears spontaneously and it self-releases naturally. Like the way that a, a rainbow just naturally resolves. And so to have this ever-increasing insight into the nature of everything, into the nature of reality, seeing that everything was this spontaneous appearance, this dynamic energy, but it was the open intelligence within which and as which that was what was constant. Everything else was always changing. You know, my thoughts were changing, my feelings were changing, my experience was always changing, but the open intelligence that I identified when I just stopped thinking, it didn't go anywhere when the next thought arose, and that's what I would, could rely on. And I began to see that for myself, just through taking these short moments of relaxing that need to describe everything. And that for me was in incredible because it allowed me to see in my own experience the nature of reality, the nature of mind. What is it that is constant and what is the actual nature of all of my thoughts and emotions? And that in itself was very relaxing but also very empowering because I could see the way that I'd been giving this power to my data streams, and that's a term we use in the training to simplify things. So rather than always speaking about thoughts, emotions and sensations and other experiences, it's, it's just data. And it's this endless stream of data, just flowing effortlessly by, 
open intelligence streaming this data. And having that perspective and, and seeing that for myself was really empowering because I saw that I had been giving all of these experiences, all of these data streams, a power over me that they just did not have. The more I saw that actually my real identity was not anything that I'd learned and not any of my ideas because they were always changing, so how could it be any of those? It was this openness of intelligence. And this intelligence was continually opening, continually pouring out more and more data. And so the switch from feeling that I needed to somehow cope with life, cope with everything that I was thinking and feeling, somehow either suppress it or avoid things or um, indulge the positive things, trying to hold on to those, that whole game gently relaxed and, and, and came to a stop. And I saw that when I allowed everything to be as it was and I relied on open intelligence, that gave me actually everything that I'd been looking for in managing all of my experience. Like I said, I became more relaxed, more at ease with myself. I became more comfortable in social situations. I became smarter. I just saw everything much more clearly. Um, having deeper and deeper insight into the nature of reality enjoying life more because I could allow everything just to flow on by rather than struggling with everything, holding on to the positive, trying to hold on to that positive experience, working out where it came from, how do I recreate that, you know, what was the cause of it, and then trying to keep at bay the negative, trying not to get angry, not to be irritated, not to be bored, um, all of which were completely impossible. So giving up this impossible task of trying to manage everything that I was feeling. So in that was the relief of stopping something or stopping trying to do something that was actually impossible. I hadn't, it hadn't even occurred to me that that was an option. So it, it was humbling. And, um, and to see more and more clearly exactly what I had been doing was um, for me a mixture of um, regret and quite a lot of humour at just seeing exactly what, what I'd been doing and how that managing of everything or trying to control everything had affected every single relationship in my life, including the relationship with, with myself. And to see that I could allow myself to be as I was, as this openness of intelligence. And in there was this, this, this power this power of no longer feeling that I was at the whim and at the mercy and a victim to everything that I was thinking, feeling and sensing, all of my experience. Instead, all of this data becomes the power to be of benefit to myself and other people. That same dynamic energy that was something that I needed to struggle with, I needed to um, work at, I needed to understand, I needed to control, I needed to just get a handle on it somehow. And although I never actually succeeded, I thought that that meant that there was something wrong with me and I just needed to try harder. I needed to learn more facts. I needed to have better experiences. I needed to change this or change that in my life. And um, to relax and allow myself to be just as I am, it's just incredible. So. That's the first of the four mainstays, the algorithm. And an algorithm, like you say, is a set of instructions or um, steps that you take that always lead to a specific result. And so when you come to Balanced View for the first time, um, you are given the absolutely outrageous guarantee that if you um, participate in the four mainstays, and the first one is the short moments that I was speaking about, then you are guaranteed to have the result of increasing obviousness of open intelligence in everyday life. Not as some um, abstract concept or a nice philosophical idea, not as fleeting instinctive recognitions of this completely vast expanse of reality, but integrated into everyday life so that the benefits that's felt from that first recognition pervade all of your experience. So there's the practice of short moments, 
Then there is the training that we offer and that looks in different ways. We have a website that is just packed full of free media. I mean, there's hundreds of talks on there from trainers around the world sharing their experience, participants sharing their experience. There are, I don't know, eight books that are free to download on the website, all of which confirm this recognition of open intelligence as the actual nature of reality. And they evoke this recognition. It's so instinctive. It's, um, it's like you already know this. You already know that you're open intelligence. The training has been to focus in on the data and to ignore the open intelligence. So having media, having texts, having written trainings where you come together with a smaller group of people and you get to ask questions about that. You can explore these texts, you can open them out and in that this recognition grows stronger. The third mainstay is the global community. So there's people all around the world that are making the choice to live as open intelligence and to be around other people also making this choice it, it, it's so inspiring, it's so powerful because it shows you and demonstrates the power that we have as a species in a society. So you can look out at mainstream society and you can see the results of basing that society on emphasizing data. I don't need to go into the details of what that looks like, that's very obvious. But to spend time with people that are relying on open intelligence shows you that there is another way that we can relate as individuals in a society. And that is very, very inspiring and very powerful. And then the fourth mainstay is the trainer. And there are trainers who have basically dedicated their lives to supporting other people in this recognition of open intelligence. And for myself, that has been an incredible support. It's really powerful to check in with someone who's just got more experience. If you wanted to learn um, any language, Hindi, which is one of the languages I'm trying to learn, one of the ways I learn that is I go to a, a Hindi teacher. It's kind of obvious, isn't it? You know, if that's something I want to learn about, I go and speak to someone that is fluent in that language. And so that's exactly the same with the trainer, somebody that is fluent in the language of open intelligence. And so it, it, it's really the same process that we learn anything. But by taking short moments, participating in the trainings, spending time with the community, and then interacting with the trainers and developing that relationship, open intelligence just shines more and more obviously. So that's the algorithm. And um, if you're open enough to test that out, that's fantastic. If you're cynical and you don't believe that, that's brilliant. Come and test it out and prove that it doesn't work. There are lots of people here who came with that approach and many years later they're still here, still trying to prove it doesn't work. So if that's how it is for you, that's fine too.